no intro, no nothing. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Nerd Theory. We are excited to be back. We are uh, we got some stuff to talk about today, as always. Uh, yeah. Today's news is going to be a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to say controversial, but. Well, kind of depends on where you're standing, I guess. Yeah, huh? it depends where you stand. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. So the 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 baseline takeaway is we're going to talk about the Star Wars Galaxy. Uh, what's it called? It's an out of world experience for. It's it's not it's not Batu. It's something else. It's something. No, 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 no. So basically, it is like going on to a Star Cruiser. I think they're calling it. I have it pulled up here. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the Star Cruiser Star Wars Hotel. And here, I'll actually just share this into the into the thing because. There's actually a new update to this whole story, which we're going to get into. But okay. before we even get into that, I just kind of want to know what's your base like takeaway of this price point and this offering? Like, what do you what do you make of this? Well, I think with any offering and any price point, you should have something that like you should have levels and tiers, um, you know, and one of them should be extremely affordable to people so that they can everyone of all walks of life can come and enjoy. Some people aren't fortunate enough to be making a lot of money. Um, and some people have a huge family where they want to experience it all together. So they need to be able to do something that accommodates everybody. And I would say the higher tiers, you know, where you pay more money, you get more of an experience, you get more of this and that, but to single it out, like you have to pay this amount. Otherwise you can't even enter. It's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, when I first heard the prices, I was like, that is so crazy. I thought there must be like a typo or something on the page, right? Because yeah. it's literally like, I think the bottom level of it is still like around five grand for a two night experience for two people, for two yeah. people. Yeah, really um, yeah and I thought, I thought that was pretty crazy. But this, so this came out, right? And it circulated a good bit. And then Disney sort of reached out to different people trying to, I think, like cover it, their, their butt a little bit here because this account here, which must be an account that talks about the, the different kind of experiences that are out there like Disney World, is talking about how they announced more details for their Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel. But all they said was that the tech will be more advanced than any other Disney experience, including Rise of Resistance at Disneyland and the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge lands. So th basically they came out and said that the technology that's going to be in this experience is going to be more advanced than Rise of Resistance, more advanced than the entirety of uh, Galaxy's Edge. I mean, that's pretty much to be expected, correct? I mean, we, we sure. I mean, it, it has yeah, to, be, right? <laughs> you don't want it to be crap. And fair enough. Like, I'm not saying it's not going to look good. It's probably going to look amazing. They're probably going to have like holograms and things in there that, you know, will blow our mind and make us feel like we're <coughs> literally on a, a star cruiser. Well, that's but, the thing. It, it has to, right? Like, otherwise, yeah, why would you pay that still, that kind of a price? You should be able to have some sort of a, let's say, a cheaper section of the hotel where you go in and, you know, you, you can't enter the exclusive section. Sorry, this is for high paying credit members only. It's like, okay, fine. But at least allow people to come in there and, and, and experience it at, you know, I don't know, 500 bucks a night. Yeah. And that's I, pushing I, it. Yeah. I just, I don't understand how, like, again, I just really don't understand. Like, because they're saying that you have to, or they're going to have the most advanced technology out of anything. That's cool. I, I haven't seen I how they would use that though, in a way to justify that price. Like it would have to be like legitimately the coolest freaking lightsaber thing ever that you get to keep, right? You'd have to be able mm -hmm. to keep it. You'd have to have some kind of an experience that's interactive where like a group of stormtroopers invades the ship or something to that effect like something interactive like that you'd right. have to have like some kind of really really crazy experience but i don't see anything in what they're proposing that seems to be worth that at face right now you know what no, i mean and, and disney's all about uh being inclusive so you know how are you being inclusive when you're only targeting the extreme rich yeah, I just right. and, and and we're mind you, like Josh and I aren't salty about this at all. We're just speaking uh, to try to get everybody included in this. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, to me, I thought even originally the story was it was kind of whack, and like I didn't I, I, like I talked about it for sure on streams and stuff. I was just like, I thought this was outrageous. A lot of people thought it was outrageous, and then 
I for them to kind of come out and say, well, it's going to have the most advanced technology, and and that's sort of a way to try to buffer this cost. That's not good enough to me as a as a fan. No. You need to explain what that experience is going to be for. Because correct me if I'm wrong, they're already taking reservations, are they not? Yeah. So I mean, of course, people who are you know extremely wealthy can can pay for it, and no problem to them. Um, but I feel like it singles out the people who really want to experience a lot of this stuff because not all of us are fortunate enough. And I, I mean, yeah. I mean, okay. You know, to be real. Uh, Josh and I could do this, and right. that's because we are fortunate enough to be doing what we love, and we're on YouTube, and YouTube pays really well, depending on how hard you work and you know the following you build. Yeah, and even though we can do this, we're still looking at this like we want everyone to be able to enjoy this. We want to be able to have not just like I don't know. It just feels like if I were to go to that, I'd feel like a piece of shit. I'd that's the like thing, I'm, right? Like, like a like that, a yeah, yeah, you know, like you remember Home Alone when. Uh, the, the wife or, or the husband or whatever, the wife was talking about, like, don't you feel like a heel being in first class while all the kids are in coach? Yeah. So, yeah I don't know. Just. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't feel right, especially because Star Wars is supposed to be like all about Camino. And, and you know, it's fun or <laughs> Camino. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be about unity and about fans and family and all that. This is so funny to me because isn't this like the whole thing that they put in The Last Jedi? Like, doesn't this feel like this is that weird little casino planet like they literally disney wants people to be the the freaking fancy if they had, people if they, on the if thing. they have yeah. that dude if they have that alien dude on there i got to go to it the alien, you know <laughs> yeah, that right, the little yeah. alien guy who was like he was just like yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah for sure for sure no, but yeah, yeah anyways look it's i think it's look i understand things cost money i understand disney is probably spending i don't know millions of dollars what a day to run that thing they have to be spending buku bucks, dude. Like, I just don't see. I, I just need more. Like, that's the thing is, like, I just frankly don't. And maybe somebody in chat can help me out here if there's been something else added. But, like, this is an absurd. Even, like, just you and I can also write this off. That's the other thing that's really wild. That's it's the like, other thing is that, we yeah, could pay, yeah. we could do it and write it off. And I still don't want to do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I still feel like that's a bad well, way to spend. Five the only grand. way that I would do it is if they called me up and hey, look, like we know you have your channel and we want to advertise on it, so we'll fly you down, right? Put you in the hotel and you can vlog it. And I'd be like, okay, I mean sure. that'd be fine, but wouldn't that be a little bit like taking a uh, Night Shadow Legend or kind of check where you're like, I'm not really gonna push this. I, can't, I don't know if I can really honestly push no, for other people to do it. You know what that's I mean? the thing. That's the thing with me though is that I never. You can't buy me. Even if you pay yeah. for, you can pay for my opinion. I'll give yeah. you my opinion. And I would go there and I, if I see something that's just stupid, I'm like, why is this all sequel trilogy stuff? I'd be like, well, I'd say that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. You can't, you can't gag order me, you know? So what do you think? Can you come up with any ideas of like something that would entice you to to do this because like to me the, there's only a couple of things like you need you would need swag like that lightsaber you need to get your own for sure have they announced that like whether or not you get one of those lightsabers because i'm telling you right now if you don't even get one of those brand new lightsabers bro Probably you spend not dude bro are you kidding me like that's their so, that's their bread and butter are you kidding me that's so, so yeah much but that's what I, that's the, the thing though like you are paying five grand for two nights they better give you and the family all of those lightsabers. And you better be able to have like, like the what I would want is some crazy VR AR place where I could like legit lightsaber battle my friend with like, like effects and stuff. Like, did you ever go play? Uh, you played Vader's Lair, that uh, AR, the VR game, right? Oh, it's like, amazing. Yeah, Vader yeah. Immortal. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever do like one of the more advanced versions of that thing? Like, not that one exactly, but there was like a Marvel one where you were on like a suit and it had like no. specific rooms built. So they have no. like those kind of experiences. They're they're way bigger in like Japan and certain countries over there, but like those kind of experiences are very freaking cool and they can create sort of a very unique feeling of like actually living in that world if that was what was going on and i had access to like a thing like that where like me and the homies could literally like lightsaber fight as though we were on like a, an actual planet or something in vr i don't know like something like that 
a, an experience that I could walk away with actual swag. That's the only way that I could see this well, here's, really being also worth Also, the it. thing, Josh, I, I don't even find it all that enticing. Yeah. They're still missing the point. Like, they're trying okay. to recreate Star Wars. Why don't you just have us go back to a planet that George Lucas created? Like, why, why are you recreating all of this crap? Like, yeah. put me on the freaking... I don't know. Put me on the Death Star. Like, how about let me stay at the Death Star? That's true. Do you think this is... For, a, for sure. Do you think this is a little bit of them putting the cart in front of the horse? Like, basically, they have this big plan for this thing but until the sort of the ip gets put back to where it needs to be and the fan base faith is a little bit more restored like do you think this just reads as more just them being out of touch because look this is a cool idea but it's also coming in sort of a drought of content we didn't get anything on may the 4th this year it feels like there's still a lot of unanswered questions and then they're just like but we know you love star wars so come spend five grand for two days like it just doesn't the messaging isn't like it doesn't feel authentic you know what i mean like yeah. put the toys back on the shelf and then maybe we'll want to come hang out in star wars land and spend all this money to do star wars stuff i don't know to me it's just it's it feels wildly out of touch you know well yeah it's like if you have a family you're, you're looking at you know let's say you want to stay five days you're looking at about 20 grand five to seven days i think it's 20 g's isn't it exclusive to a two day thing? I mean, I think you could probably cycle it, but I think it's ex for now, I think it's exclusive to a two day thing. Um, well, isn't it like if you don't want to stay there for for only two days, then you can go to one of our other hotels uh, at Disneyland, which is like another way of saying, like, if you can't afford it, okay, you can still stay here and spend money, but you know, gotcha, you can go to a cheaper gotcha. hotel. You can't sure. stay here. And look, yeah. again, I understand there are costs, they have to make money, but. I think they can do it in a way where they have, you know, everybody come in, like just roping a certain section off. I mean, like, look, this is more of the ch cheaper part and we can still bring your money in. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll take your money. 500 bucks a night. That's still expensive as hell, man. But like Dude, compared to the, the, what was it? Like two grand a night? Or I, I feel like it's overpriced. Grand a night? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's overpriced by a couple of grand. If it was three grand for two nights for two people, I could totally see it. And then creep up okay. towards four or five with like a family or something. Yeah. I could totally see that. But this just feels wildly out of out of touch. Like if it was a balls to the wall, like experience, experience. Like I almost feel like I'm trying to think in my head of like, what would I spend $5,000 to do like a, a two days where if I got to play Dungeons and Dragons in like an actual castle with like one of the most legendary dungeon masters of all time with like a group of my friends, I'd probably shell out five grand for two days of doing something like that. Or if I got to play like paintball with Navy SEALs for like 24 hours straight or something wild like that, like that to me is like, dude this is epic this is something i'll take with me this is going to be really intense i'd pay five thousand for that this literally just feels like it's a kind of cool hotel it's a kind of yeah. cool hotel with some star wars dressings on it I, i'm not buying it it doesn't it, it exactly just, it doesn't do exactly you you hit the nail on the head i'll spend the money but if it's yeah. worth it if it's something right. like those freaking master replicas lightsabers some of those were like three grand that i spent right right for a freaking Toy, but, but you find the value there. You're like, no, yeah, this it's, is it's, that this thing. Is legit. Yeah. This is limited edition, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to that Star Cruise. <laughs> it's 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 like a cruise, I, I guess, but it's a hotel. Dude, for sure. It just feels so... It, it, like, until they the, put the, more the, out, you know? Look, they got to really... If they want to make money, they got to pull on the heartstrings of Star Wars fans. Don't incorporate... Don't bring something totally brand new in there and then expect us to pay this premium price right pull on our heartstrings and say like hey go spend a freaking weekend with the ewoks on endor like that yeah and you got and little it, ewoks running around like uh, i don't true. know no don't i know. would that would put, absolutely put be Mustafar. worth it more 100 like if they had I'll stay like, Vader's castle like bro you know what i would do i would pay that money to get on like an actual like land cruiser and they can do this kind of stuff now with like drones like big drones right so if i could get on like an actual like little cruiser thing and fly around sand dunes and have like some freaking jawas come over the hill or something crazy like that like that would be something i'd pay five grand on you yeah, know what yeah. i mean Imagine uh flying in an x-wing like putting putting you into like an x-wing or something crazy like that like that i would i would pay five grand for it. but to just stay in a hotel eat a couple of meals you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. It just doesn't. 
It does. It, it's it's like, wildly, wildly out of, out of touch. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> Big super chat from Christopher. Thank you so much. And we're going to be getting through the rest of the super chats later on in the stream as well. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for Heck yeah, man. So I had a couple other questions for you because we didn't get to talk last week. It was just kind of fun stuff going on. You feeling so, better? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I still feel it's weird, man. I still feel really like congested and like I still have a lot of like I feel like I'm still coughing stuff up. It was it was really weird. Um, but yeah, I do. I do feel much better. But in the meanwhile, while we were away, a couple of things got announced. First of all, Bad Batch season two, which was mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Bad Batch season two? And also, does it hurt the finale for you at all? Because I saw some people saying like they announced season two. No before the the part two of the finale and it's like ah oh, man you you does that take away from people dying what do you think no i don't think so i mean i think we all knew that season two was coming i had my doubts i had my doubts i thought it was just going to be a one and dunzer pretty sure we all knew that it was happening i don't know if we did i mean maybe i missed you, you thought it was going to be a one-time thing yeah i did i did i was like bad batch will be a sort of spin-off one kind of let go of it. Maybe they're doing a new thing. Honestly, this is what I thought was that Dave had been taken in a different direction. And so this was probably something that maybe he would have done multiple seasons on before, but he wouldn't anymore. But now, no, yeah, they're, I mean, it's absolutely the case that they're going to do season two, at least. Right. I think they'll um, keep going, man. I think this is like the new Clone Wars. Yeah. Well, it actually uh, makes me uh, in, like accept the pace of season one of bad batch a little bit more because you know it's at its slower moments it's definitely done its thing developing character but now that you know you're getting a whole nother season it's like okay i see why maybe they set some stuff up more slowly and sort of took their time um so for me yeah. i'm i'm pretty well, hyped it was a little I, too much of setting it was too many sid missions man it was just that's very true. But I think the whole idea is like now moving past that, we're going to get hopefully into the real meat of whatever's coming next. Right. Because I think we're going to get some pretty wild stuff set up in the, in the finale. Um, what do you think is going to happen in the finale? Do you got any predictions? Yeah, I do. Um, I think there are, there's two options. I think they're going to get captured. I think um, they're going to kill Crosshair in front of everyone. And I think Crosshair's maybe going to try to like, protect his brothers and Omega or something in a last ditch effort. That's going to be his character arc. He gets mm. capped. And then. So you think, think he's done so? Uh, maybe. Yeah. And uh, this is one option. And then the bad batch get enraged. They take over the, the, the shuttle, the ship, and then they, um, they ca cause more issues for the empire. And then maybe it ends with like Palpatine sending a message to Vader and be like, Lord Vader, there is a crew we must kick their ass <laughs> and then, then vader's just like yeah. let's get it and then he just and then yeah. and then he just like i don't know walks or you just see his lightsaber from his hmm. hip swinging and then just cuts to black hmm so you don't think we're getting any boba at all any more fennec perhaps or that'd be cool yeah so the other option is fennec and boba show up with rex yeah Dude, yeah, that's that's kind of the direction I think it's going in is like, and by the way, I thought it was so crazy that they destroyed Camino like that. I did really not see that coming. I was like, I, I thought they would at least, you know, because we see Dr. Pershing with the Camino kind of badge, right? Yeah. I thought maybe, well, they're going to just take over those labs or whatever, but no, they decimated Camino, and it looks like they just took the scientists to go work elsewhere uh, on, you know, the emperor's cloning plans, which is uh, with Nala. So do you think Nala is still alive by the time of the Mandalorian? Big shout know, out to OG Stroyd for that big super. Thank you, man. Yo, that's pretty sick. Um, I think she is still alive. I, do we know how long they live? The Kaminoans? Um, they're pretty old, but they also augmented their um, uh, their physiology, right? So they did experiments on themselves first. Oh, they did. Okay, so that they, so that they could live longer because their planet became a freaking water planet yeah it used to be all green and lush yeah and then uh and then they they were like well we're gonna go extinct so we better do some we better add some gills or something we better do some, Yo, they started doing experiments sick. that's sick dude i, yeah, I did like, not do know you that. remember do you remember when omega um or not omega fennec had that creature fall on her from the tank of like green goo remember when they were fighting cad bane 
Va- I, I vaguely remember the creature falling. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember. There's really... like an old back to tank and it just okay. it exploded and it fell on her. So the theory is that that's an actual Kiminoan, like a first gen where they were doing tests on them and stuff like that. That would be Could super be cool. I mean, hey, that's a cool theory. I like that a lot. And it would be cool if she was still alive. I, I just think in general, like Dave is doing what he always does, which is just filling in those little gaps, like kind of taking us along this tapestry of a story where we know a lot of things, but they're still unknowns. And it just feels right. Like, dude, just showing him just blast that thing apart with the music like that. It just shows you again that this empire is a, is a dark, dark thing that's starting Mm -hmm. to creep over the galaxy. And the show has been really successful in that regard, right? Like taking us from, the the end of uh the republic into the actual empire it's been very successful on that note i think holy shit destroyed thank you man again holy mother lover i guess uh <coughs> you missed us last week that much right exactly right feeling the love thanks man appreciate it so other thing that i wanted to talk to you about my friend multiple fallen order sequels it's a big kind of theory out there that some of the news from the ea uh you uh-huh. know they did an investor call yeah not just a not just number two but multiple jedi fallen order franchise games is is the rumor i i guess i just want to know your base level thoughts on that and also like does that make you think that cal because we talk about cal kestis all the time we would love to see cal kestis live action love to see it it's true it's true do you think that this could mean him more of a sign of him coming in. I do, but if they're doing different timelines, then maybe it's going to cover someone else. Yes, that's also true. That's also possible, especially since he just, uh, you know, has a new squad or whatever. You know, like they have chapters kind of thing. Yes, that could very well be the case. But um, I don't know, with a franchise, I mean, Cal's such a good character. It would be a shame if they didn't just move forward with him. I think he could have others come in, but... Uh, I don't know. He's such a unique and a character that really resonated with fans at the right time. So I hope that he is the one we follow uh, for a couple of games. And who knows? Maybe he links up with be cool. Luke Skywalker in the future. I think that would be pretty, pretty freaking epic. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I mean, it was one of my favorite games, and I just I was saddened to to read that we're not going to be getting any updates or any you know demos or anything like that uh, during EA Play. But whatever, hopefully we get it in 2022. Yeah, hopefully, right. I mean, I think, uh, you know, there was a report that came out connected to that Ubisoft game and the open world game that they're developing. And it was basically that Disney just was really not confident in EA's ability to make a open world game, which is at least good that it's like Disney recognizes that they can't just rely on EA for everything. And, and with these other studios working on games, there's, there's a bright future, I think, ahead for, uh, for Star Wars games. And on top of that, you know, the Fallen Order games, the Fallen Order game was great and Respawn's great. I've been loving Apex and, you know, Titanfall and all of that stuff's great. So there's still hope that even under the dark, dark EA, we could still have positive stuff, you know? Yeah, just give me a good game. You know, I don't care who yeah. makes it. But yeah. I'm I'm happy that they moved on from EA and they're giving the license to some other people. I, I mean, agree. Assassin's Creed was great. I was talking to Mark about this a couple of days ago. Assassin's Creed was good. I mean, the first few, and then they kind of just got a little milky. But uh, if they can make a game like that for Star Wars, that'd be pretty cool. Dude, that would be sick. Yeah, I would absolutely love something like that. Could be really, really refreshing. And I don't even need it to be attached to the canon. I think they shoot themselves in the foot sometimes with that kind of stuff. Uh, they're a little too anal with the whole canon thing. Is that a canon, that's canon. No, just make something cool. I mean, yeah, just make something really sweet. Yeah, what the heck? I mean, just look at all the Star Wars fan films that are out there. You know, some of them have like 30 something million views, and those aren't canon. People just want to <sighs> see it. People love it. Yep. That's and, a good point. and mind you, no one cares what your canon is, it's all about head canon. True. It doesn't matter. Like it, it makes no difference at the end of the day. Really. I think th- the problem was when they sort of devalued legends, they said that everything would be canon and they said it as a value proposition. So basically they were saying like, if you go buy this book, it's going to inform the characters you read in that book when you go see it on screen or when you read this comic or when you see this other thing, this animated show. 
And that is actually a really cool promise because that is like that does get you to kind of dig in on more stuff. You know what I mean? Marvel does a great job with that. But the problem they was they just didn't execute on it. So they got the negative side of it, which was all the restrictions and all the problems, with the video games, et cetera, et cetera. And they didn't even get the benefits of it because it just stopped. The, like the buck stopped at the films and then the films just yeah. kind of decided what they wanted to do. And I agree. Going uh, back to someone's uh, super chat that just they just posted. How would you feel? And we've talked a lot about this. Like, how, how would you feel if they continue to do what we think they're going to do, which is create all of these different spinoff shows and they all meet together for a movie, kind of like Avengers? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's to me, that is if they don't do that, that's a missed opportunity, frankly, in my opinion, because the way that the world is going right now, like, I guess this is what I'm saying is like, why wouldn't you let Marvel sort of do that heavy lifting in the sense that they establish that as a thing that now mainstream audiences, including like grandmas and uncles, like if you look at the people that are into the MCU, it is a wide swath of people that all feel connected to this thing. They all know these characters, they have their favorite ones or whatever, but they love to watch it all pop off together. True. Why wouldn't you? Because you can just do it now. You don't need to do Captain America one. You don't need to do Iron Man one. Like, dude, you're doing it in Mando. You know what True. I mean? Like yeah. you're you're doing it. Everybody already knows Luke. Everybody loves Grogu. You know, Bob is the man. Like Bo Katan is lit. Ahsoka, get out of here. Like that's a great cast yeah. already. Yeah. So yeah, I, I really do think that that would be the way to do it. And I think at this point, too, man, we need a reason to go into the theaters. You need a reason to get hyped up and to go in that dark theater and watch that movie with all those strangers because movies in general are feeling like i don't know if you're having this thing happen to you but i'm sort of having this thing where it's like dude movies really need to step up their game you know what i mean like they're yeah, all they're feeling a little yeah, yeah like yeah, they're yeah. all just absolutely i'd almost rather like you know that you've really screwed up when you're in the middle of a movie and you'd rather go watch a youtube video you know what i yeah. mean like you'd legitimately yeah. go, rather go watch something that's very pertinent to Which something you care about that is, people do they you know, do. It's, they that's do. why I don't go to movies anymore because it's just not. It's not fun. It's not like it was in the '90s and early 2000s. Where oh, I agree actually, with that. Because there weren't really any phones out out back. Yeah, back. and they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. They barely you called. Go to a texted. movie theater. You sit and you watch. Like, yeah, you're there to see a movie. Bro, we got spoiled, man, because like we grew up in the era of first of all the prequel trilogy, which was amazing to see in theater. Some of my best yeah. theatrical experiences. Yeah. Lord of the Rings trilogy, dude. Oh yes. man, dude. Seeing the Lord of the Rings trilogy in theaters. Harry Potter. Oh, amazing. Harry Potter, the Matrix trilogy, bro. I don't yeah. care what anybody says. When I was younger, bro, I loved the second and the third Matrix movie. I I it was awesome. So yeah, but you're right. It's not really like that anymore. Even like it just feels so disconnected from like what reality is nowadays and how like freaking exciting and awesome things are where it's like if you think about a marvel movie right like the, the good ones not black widow because black widow was like whatever but that's the reason it was whatever is because it was outside of that formula right. the formula for marvel is like this is the hype thing that everybody's checking out and it's almost like on that social level you're more engaged with the content almost not because of the content, but because of the wider community of social that will exist outside of it. It's yeah. almost like they've tapped in to what makes people tick these days. And that's what creates that crazy experience, man. Cause like end game existed in a world where just like we were saying, people pull the phones out, people do this, that second and the third, but my yeah. end game experience, bro, not, a, not a dry face in there. People were crying, no yeah. phones. No, it was an incredible theater experience. People crying, Absolutely. people applauding, you know, so movies need to up their game, bro. And star Wars needs to up their game and that's how they can do it. Um, I'm actually building a theater in my house. Woo, I'm going to do nice, a, a, a tour bro. once it's done. Yeah. That's sick, man. I want to get some of those sideshow, either the busts or the, um, the actual full Vader. Oh, that's like standing bro. there. That'd be sick. That's my my dream for my eventual office, like my office yeah. office in my like yeah. house house will yeah. be like an Emperor Palpatine chair, stormtroopers on either right. side when the when the people come in the office. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, life yeah, yeah, size. Yeah. yeah, bro, for sure. Royal yeah. Red Guards. That's what you need. Yeah. Well, those will be behind me, right? Just yeah. Chilling yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the chair around and be like, and like Boba come. chilling over there. And yeah, like, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'd have a big Zen garden in there where I'll come in and make like a Zen 
garden every morning. Uh, it's going to be dope. But uh, no, congratulations, dude. That's sick, man. Building a theater. Did you ever see uh, Zack Snyder? Like months. Yeah, That's dude, awesome. his theater is cr- Well, yeah, man, mine's not going to be like that. But It's just so fun that he like has the theater. And then because, you know, obviously he makes movies and stuff. So he'll edit and then watch it on his he wants to see what it looks like well the that theater. was the, the point is when i do episode two I'm <laughs> doing all the editing and the the, the directing so i'm going to need something that's legit so i can actually mm. see it on the big screen and, yeah. and notice like little things that i may not notice and also I, i've always wanted a theater it's cool absolutely dude that's fan freaking fantastic you know i had a, a little bit of tangent here but i have a buddy i grew up with uh, a lot of russian friends and my one friend's dad was obsessed with making home theaters and he ended up renovating like four or five rooms into their house into home theaters just because he became a hobbyist of it right and mm-hmm. so this dude had five different home theaters with like just really well designed like sound systems like a really well designed setup with like huge TVs but like who in their right mind has five different rooms all set up as home theaters in their in their house it was like walking through a home theater That's museum crazy. it was pretty wild dude it's nuts dude yeah when you come over we'll watch star wars and we'll do nerd theory in person oh that would be dope dude from the yeah. theater yeah sick. yeah we'll set up like a little studio in there and uh it'll be good that'll be sick dude that'll be cool that'll be really fun for sure um i want to give a quick shout out while we're uh, <laughs> while you're out here for like literally five seconds um i started up my fantasy theory channel again nice so nice i've already uploaded like five videos in the last day or six yeah five videos holy cow and, okay. um yeah so I'm, I'm working with a guy named steve he is going to be helping me on the channel and he's a super sweaty so he's nice. like lord of the rings and marvel are his main thing and then i'm going to cover the boys and the witcher and like um we're Dude, that's awesome. on a whole bunch of stuff and like yeah stranger things and bro that's perfect if you are uh if you ever awake up in the mornings bro you should hop on the morning stream with me to talk some of this uh some of this marvel and whatnot when uh sure when the thing's coming out yeah okay cool um yeah so i appreciate all you guys who are going over there and subscribing and of course josh already has his channel which covers Mostly Marvel and Star Wars, I think, right? Yeah, mostly Marvel and Star Wars. Would love to cover more, and if we got like bigger, maybe we could. But it's always tough with like one channel covering multiple topics, uh, as you know. You know what I mean? So right. it can, it can be tricky, but yeah, that's why we usually stick to like Marvel and Star Wars. When it goes heavy Star Wars, I go heavy Star Wars on the channel. Most of the time, we're covering Marvel, just because there's literally so much going on at Marvel that it's honestly it's hard to it's like hard to keep up with it all. Um, because there's just, there's a lot. There's a lot, you know? Yeah. And your channel's popping off lately, so. Hey, we're having fun, man. Yeah, Especially man. on that streaming channel, for Happy sure. The for you. streams have been popping. Good. That's what I like to hear. Did you guys hear about Star Wars Redemption, new fan-made game that looks super good? I did. I think you guys mentioned uh, some of it when I was doing some streams for uh, Jedi Cast, I believe it was. No, I uh, it. Jack says, like, Disney overpricing the cheap lightsabers uh christopher with 50 says stopping by to say hi thanks for all of your content thanks christopher we got og with 200 bucks thank you man appreciate that uh alex says just wanted to give my take on an old discussion i wasn't able to catch the windu survived unlimited power by palpatine the same way anakin and maul survived their mortal wounds he embraced his anger and hatred to you both Ooh. so what you think mace embraced his anger and hatred that's actually a pretty good theory. Hmm. In like a last ditch effort, he's like, "Well, I'm gonna die." So yeah, might as well get real mad about it. And then he tapped him to the dog Dude, side. That's actually wow. I would love it, man. And then have him like turn. And I, I would love him to come after. Uh, come Mace, after some, uh, yeah. Vader. Yeah, come after Obi Wan too. Like oh, he's like I, you little. Yeah. Well, he's like you. This uh, maybe, like I said, I think it would be sick if he wanted to take Luke and train him himself. And like in his mind, the best vengeance would be training Luke to take Vader out or to take Anakin out in his mind, right? Wow, I'd love be to be pretty dark, that. pretty dark, right? I'd love to make a theory on that. That'd Fantastic. be sick. Do the it. only way Mace could actually, survive. well, not the only way. There's another way that I wrote for Episode Two, <laughs> but uh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Somehow Dude. Voldemort has. <laughs> dude Kalista says 5k is how much she pays for a semester of college without financial aid and student loans so that is crazy so that's like 
that's like what she pays out of pocket with all the support and everything for a semester, bro. Any you know? saber update? Can I pre? That's a lot of money. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Actually, of- so we. I don't know if I should show you this or not, but no, nah, I'm not going to show you because it's not done. There's a um, yeah, but a good conversation today with the manufacturer in China. Nice. Yeah. Um, the owner is actually a Canadian, which is cool, and he does all the um, most of the lightsabers for all the big saber companies. I shouldn't say lightsaber. I'll get canceled. Uh, I'll get sued. But yeah, we're making good progress. It's again, we're trying to make a design that's very unique, and it. You know, it's it's a little bit trying when it comes to um, making something that these these makers, these builders um, haven't actually created yet in their factory. So we're sure. having to, you know, take this away, add that, you know, dumb it down a bit or not make it so exciting. And until eventually we reach the point where we are creating our own, we like we have our own manufacturing company, which someday would be pretty sweet. Absolutely. And then we will also do a nerd theory rendition as well. Ooh, girl yeah i like it josh you're I gonna know. be you're gonna be uh cut in on that one for sure let's go yeah. dude that sounds cool little absolutely. little set little set absolutely yeah it's gonna be fun yeah we'll have our yeah. like logo stamped on it and yeah it'll be cool that would be sick dude well that'd be two a nice different size yeah one will be like a dark and one will be a light dude yeah i dude i'm digging it i think it's it's pretty on brand it's pretty on brand yeah into it it's gonna be good it's gonna be fun. We should probably switch you and me. I should switch you like to here because there, that's a little more. Oh, right with the blue and the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, either way is fine with me. Although we're both blue and red, depending on what we're talking about, I guess. True. Yeah, we both have the capacity for the dark side. For the dark Drunk side. Repio saber. Uh, no, I, I want to sell them. <laughs> right. Well, you know, actually, the next thing that Jay does to get canceled, maybe you never know, the drunk 3PO savers could pop off in value or something. It's like that. true. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Limited yeah. edition. You never know in this crazy world, you know? Get them before they're canceled. True. True. Uh, this looks wrong. There he goes on the left. All right. Fine. Fine. You win this round. Chat. You win this round. I come to this channel to enjoy all the Star Wars content. That's good. That is a good thing to do. Happy to hear. Yo, do we know how long the uh, finale episode's going to be? Is it is it going to be longer? Know. I don't know. Man, that 70-minute episode was great, but it spoiled me, man. Uh, one of your boys, Darth Baba, says hype train tomorrow, Josh. What if? Yeah, what if, dude. Yeah. So that's going to be an animated Marvel show, but... It's going to be, I think, as impactful as Loki was to the MCU. And uh, I think we're going to see some of these characters in live action, too. Where can I find Josh's channel? So it's The Den of Nerds. Yep. And his other channel is The Den of Nerds Live. Yep. If you just type into YouTube The Den of Nerds, they should both pop up. Um, Yeah. Talked about uh, Shang-Chi and the possibility of the movies like Spider-Man being delayed uh today on a video because it is possible that delta is shutting everything down so they might delay stuff again unfortunately um let me do a quick poll for all of you guys i'm just wondering um just this is like super unofficial would you buy a theory saber and mind you the price i don't know what the price is going to be the cheaper I make it, the crappier the design. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. No, I mean, I imagine they'd be substantial. Probably probably going to be like 800 bucks, 700 bucks. Yeah, for sure. And the problem with that is that they want 100 of them up front. And with mm. such a small order, each one is yeah. going to cost us um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's the each problem. Because then you just eventually... Is, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. You want to get to volume, right? But like that takes. Yeah, time. I want to get to the point where I'm, we're buying like a hundred thousand sabers per production unit per per time per order. Yeah, which would make them like, I don't know, a lot cheaper. True. Than just buying a hundred. Yeah, it's a tough game, man. Manufacturing is tough. Yeah, so we would do a hundred limited run. And um, 
Yeah, that's that's, that's exactly like, yeah, that's exactly how you would do it. Yeah, I mean, you could take a thousand it. of them and see like, ooh, and then just you could blow do like a stuff. Kickstarter or something and see like like basically get people to oh, buy it. That. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't. I don't want to yeah. do any sort of Kickstarter and have Lucasfilm or Disney be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they could shut just it down. Say anything. I don't know. I don't mm. know. With all these other saber companies out there, they're not shutting them down. But you know, I just feel it's like true. with me, they would shut me down. Pablo get on the phone or something. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Probably. I mean, look at all the fan films out there that are running ads. True. And 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 having Kickstarters for like tens of thousands of dollars. I see that, dude. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah, like nobody bats an eye. Nobody gets shut down. <laughs> but like, if I even talk about it, it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How dare you? Yeah. Anyways, whatever. That's fine. I'll do it myself. No one can say shit. Yeah. Got this. No Got this. problem. No problem. Hey, no problem. It's no problem for most Disney. It's no problem. No problem. Yet. Are you part Russian? Uh, Ukrainian. Ukrainian. Ah, but I'm yeah, part yeah, Russian. Yeah. But like, oh, nice. Yeah. I'm Polish and Ukrainian, so I'm super Slavic. Uh, nice. uh, definitely down with the Slavs for sure. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Amen. I'm quite a mix. I'm a mutt. Eh, most of us are. Yeah. No, but at least you stay in Europe. I'm like yeah. Middle Eastern, Europe, uh, African. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm mostly Weird. on that Slavic side, bro. Like 76% Polish, you know, some some Ukrainian, some, uh, some German, some French, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mostly Pole. Don't know, would love to buy a saber from you. Don't know. That's okay. We're probably going to do giveaways. <laughs> especially, me. especially when people don't buy them. Right. <laughs> <They're> stuck <laughs> right. with all these sabers. Well, like, we Whoa. are screwed. We've got all these sabers. So. Spent a hundred grand on buying sabers. Right. And no one's buying them. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a tough day. That, well, yeah. Be good. But taking a risk. I mean, I, hey, I, trust, look. I trust my fans. I think, you know. Yeah. I think they'll like it. I think so too. I think it's the right. I think it's the right move, and especially like with you and Mark, just kind of working out these finer details. And you guys will, you're not gonna settle. You know what I mean? So like you'll you'll no, have that's something why it's that's taking so long. Yeah. right. Exactly. So that's what yeah. people want, man. Like people want that that sort of guarantee, that authenticity, and that that novel thing. You know what I mean? And yeah, and, and with a limited thing, I think they could probably sell it on eBay for more. Absolutely. Most likely. Absolutely, I agree with that a hundred percent. And there's something about just having it made, you know, by you, if, especially if they're like a hardcore fan. Like that's that's like the best, man. You know what I mean? Like that's like the best. Like the I, yeah, that's gonna that's yeah. gonna be yeah. gonna be good for people for sure. Oh, and um, chat. I had a I had a Zoom <laughs> call today with uh, St. Jude's St. Jude's Charity. Whoa! So, yeah, actually, thirty minute call. And um, they they saw the charity stream that I did in January with um, all those guys, uh, <laughs> Nervotic, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, Jay, um, Ryan, Kennel. Who else was there? I don't know. Anyways, that was a total like, impromptu thing. Like I was going to stream myself and just do some gaming, and then um, I just invited a couple people, and they invited some other people, and then we raised over forty thousand dollars in two hours. Yeah. So wild. finally, St. Jude saw that, and they were just like we would love to do more with you. So yeah. um, October 15th is going to be the next big one. So Josh, I need you in on that one. Yeah, I'm, I'll be there. What, we got to raise just, some money for kids. <laughs> we'll do it. We will raise the money. I'll bring multiple costumes. I want to raise a hundred grand. I'm not kidding. So yeah. chat, I need you guys. October 15th. So it's a Friday. Uh, it's a Friday. So just if I can get everyone donating five bucks. <laughs> Save some shekels, look in the couch for some pennies, you know, rob Whatever, a few dude. kids for lunch money yeah, at, so at the cafeteria, do what you got. That do. 40 grand that we raised, actually, that helped this one kid for his week's worth of chemo. Dang, bro. I mean, that's huge. His, his family was very, very happy. Of course. I mean, dude, that's the darkest part of like some of this stuff is like families will just go bankrupt trying to keep their loved ones alive. Like, can you imagine that? Like in the States? I, I know tell me about it right it's like a it's 
one of the worst things we got going on down here, bro. Is like I would have died. I would have died, bro. If 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 I didn't live in Canada when I was sick and going through chemo, I went through chemo for how many years? Four, five, I don't know. I was diagnosed when I was four months, and I beat everything when I was like five or six. Wow. Yeah, so, man. My parents told me they're like, you would have been dead. Like we wouldn't have had the money. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Probably the worst thing going on over here. And I am a freaking patriot. But this is one of the things that we just we have really screwed up. Yeah. You hear that chat? You guys wouldn't have had a you wouldn't have had a toxic Star Wars fan on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for Canada's healthcare. Some of the people are like, Duh. they're like, oh, why couldn't he die? <laughs> Freaking buttholes. So dark. So I know, right? Jeez. Like the young um, ones. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> um, maybe it'll be another forty thousand plus. I I'd like to do more than two hours. I'll probably be streaming like the whole day or something. Um, yeah, dude. Because you can even jump on, do some well, games. Well, I told them. Do some other well, well stuff. yeah, no. So they're gonna do some some stuff with me. They're they're either gonna get. They were talking about getting you and McGregor. Whoa! Don't. It's not even in stone. They were just talking. They're like, we have some contacts with him, but I don't even know if Disney would let that fly with me. Um, who knows? Who knows? Um, or they're gonna do some like exclusive. They said they did something with the makers of Halo, where they gave like a like a special skin for the game for anyone who donated like 50 bucks or something like that, like an exclusive. Yo. Yeah. Just that that's great. Rare skin. So they're going to try to do something like that if they can't get an actor. And mm -hmm. yeah, I have another call with them on the uh, 20, 20 something. So that's fantastic, man. Well, sign me up and uh, yeah, I'd you better be, sure. be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be doing uh, some, some funny skits, some voices, you know, it'll yeah. be a good time. It'll be a good time for the kids. The whole crew, man. Yeah, I, have, uh, I have the full thing for Zoom, so I think there's like what 25 people blotted in there. Oh, that would be wild! 25 people. That's well, I was thinking we could get you know uh, Nerd Council, and we could get yeah. like uh, everybody, man. Like I don't care who, I don't care if I don't like yeah. you. Like I'll invite Star Wars Explained. I'll invite all those other people for the kids. Um, I'll invite you know. Um, Absolutely Pablo. hate Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, the most toxic this bastard freaking in the guy. world. This freaking he, guy. He's he's gonna be there. Um, I haven't asked him yet, but um, sure yeah, everybody. I want to get everybody on there. Just, Just an entire man. YouTube thing coming together and raising money for kids and putting uh, putting everything aside. The last uh, appearance should be Pablo. Uh, Pablo invite Pablo. Go, I'll, Pablo. I'll invite Pablo. Dude, yeah. wouldn't that be that be such a fun way to like bury the hatchet though? Like if you I'd love to bury the hatchet there. with him. Yeah, yeah I'd love yeah, to yeah, bury yeah. the hatchet with him. Yeah, sure. Do it, do it Pablo. Him. Do it, Pablo. I still have his number. Should hit him up, man. No, you probably should. <laughs> be kind of I don't really have any interest, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a bag of cats. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, stupendous wave. Yeah, sure. Why not, man? Knights of Melvin. Oh, hundred percent. Actually, I would invite Knights of Melvin. I actually don't Melvin, know who that is. Knights of Melvin. I like Knights of Melvin. He talks so much smack about me, but I actually really like him. And nice. we, we we email back and forth quite a bit. That's fun. Yeah. Just like total bro stuff. And then he'll make a video being like just dogging me. And I'm like, he's like, I'm a toxic white male. This is what I do. And I'm like, fair enough, dude. Do your thing. <laughs> fair enough. Do your thing. <laughs> do your thing, my man. It's I all know. good. Um yeah, yeah. I mean, if I got you in, I wouldn't bring anyone. <laughs> I know, right? It's like it'll it'll just, just be, be you, you and me, you, 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 me, and Mark. Dude, I'll just be like this the whole time to you and though. Just like, yeah, adding my right? eyes. Like, oh right? man, it's Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. freaking Obi Wan. Dude, I'm, I'm yeah. sure he's such a genuine nice dude. He seems really, really nice. Melvin or Ewan? Ewan, I this Melvin <laughs> guy. I don't know about this Melvin. Guy. Melvin is, uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out the Knights of Melvin. I'll have to check it out. I might go in he's, a rabbit hole. I think he's got 500 subs or something. Let me let nice. Me yeah, let me see. I told him, I'm like, yo, I'll bring you on my channel, man. And he just no, no. that would be <laughs> he like dodged <laughs> the question. And then uh cold feet. He got nervous. He, oh, or something. Dude, he's killing. He's got 847 subs. So. Nice, my man. Knights of Melvin. Let's go. No, oh, he hasn't made a video on me in a while. What the hell, dude? Well, now you're gonna get one. I hope. Now you're going to get one being like, rage. I hope. I'm going to message him right now. Actually, are, is there anyone in chat that, uh, that talks to Knights of Melvin? I don't feel like emailing right now. 
Huh? Yeah, somebody get a hold of this man. Well, I could do it. I just don't want to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it later. Yo, side note, did you watch uh, Suicide Squad at all? No. What'd you think of that? No, you, no, not just weren't feeling it or. No. Is it streaming? Like, can I stream it? Yeah, it's on HP. It's on HBO Max. Oh, I haven't really. I haven't had time to stream. I haven't really. I haven't made a video on this channel in like two, three days, which is weird. Dang. Like, me. I've just You've been just making been... Marvel videos. Dang. Well, hey, that's always fun though. Yeah. A lot of fun Marvel stuff on there. So yeah, that's kind I've of been, fun. I've been excited to uh, <laughs> to grow that new channel. Yeah. No, that's awesome, man. Um, what if is what if should be cool? I think it's gonna pop. I, I'm interested to see like the first episode. I'm not like crazy about, but I think that uh, episodes two or three will be really good, and then it'll take off from there for sure. So, mm. and then we got Shang Chi coming up. Hopefully, I don't know what that one's about. It's literally just uh, well, the main draw to it, honestly, is not even for me. It's not even really Shang Chi. Like Shang Chi is cool and all that, but it's to me, it's like who's gonna be in this tournament? It's a blood sport like tournament. And they already showed like Abomination fighting Wong in the trailer. And I'm like, that's nuts, bro. Like, who else could possibly be in this tournament? That's going to be really cool to see. Um, and then, yeah, like the dragon and stuff like that will be really fun. Um, but, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at is I just want to see who who could who it, else could possibly be in the tournament. Did it flop more than Birds of Prey? <laughs> it did. That's fun. Really? It did. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, right now, like Why? I said, well, I think it's multiple reasons, but dude nobody's going to movies right now dude like things are things are not good out there right now with the numbers bro like people are try and make it a movie theater in my house i, don't, I know I right know. dude it's wild well it, i look i think that's part of it i think honestly the there is a part of it that like that movie is rated r it's not really connected to anything it's very humorous and wild so it, it's not like an avengers movie you know what i mean it's not going to bring people out and uh yeah, it did. I guess it did pretty badly in the uh, box office. So that's not good. That's unfortunate. Yeah, but it's hard to say like what could do well in the box office right now because everybody was saying that uh, Black Widow really underperformed, which I think it kind of did for a Marvel movie, but it's still the highest domestic gross of the pandy. You know what I mean? And it still did. Oh really? Like it'll do. What's going on with that lawsuit? She's suing them. Yeah, she's suing them, bro. It's crazy, man. That whole situation's so bizarre. I think it's really um I think it's more of a public relations stunt because hmm. from what I understand, like from Disney's perspective on it, like she's not only getting paid, but she is getting a chunk of the revenue from Disney Plus. It seems like the lawsuit is more to just try to make Disney look bad. And it almost seems like it's it's more organized to put pressure on Disney to play ball with like theaters and Hollywood in general. You know what I mean? Um, but Disney has some bad stuff going on. Like it just came out that um, they only pay the comic book writers five grand when they adapt one of their books into a movie. They get paid five grand and invited to the premiere. So they could basically go to the Star Wars cruise thing for two nights. Like these movies make billions, you know what I mean? Like, and these comic book writers are responsible for a lot of uh I'm surprised. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So like they're gonna probably have to fight that uh negative PR. I like how the rock um I feel like he made like a little jab where he was uh where he was thanking everyone on his as he always does. He was, Thanks yeah. everyone for watching Jungle Cruise. Blah blah blah. <laughs> uh, I, I, what do you say? And if you can't go to theaters because of everything going on, like I, it's on Disney Plus for you to stream. And I really pushed for that for you to stay safe in your homes. And that was one of the big controversies about Scarlet. Um, yeah, yeah. And being like, oh, she wants everyone to go to movies so she gets paid or whatever. And then I feel like he really like digged in. He's like, yeah, that's something I really wanted for you to stay home. Oh yeah, I, I think from the PR perspective, like. Look, The Rock made the right move. I, I honestly can't. The Rock believe. is a is a is a PR master. He's a genius, dude. He's a genius. He is, that. He is Palpatine. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred million percent. He's so good at branding. It's like it's crazy. You know, like hats off to him, honestly, because he puts in so much work and he and he's established that brand over time. 
but yeah. like even what he does with like his tequila and stuff and you know his productions and he plays hardball behind the scenes too you know so like he he has a lot of cool a lot of cool stuff going on but like dude the scarlet thing makes zero sense to me like i don't understand who put her up to making that lawsuit she's straight up in my opinion looks bad like i just don't know how she's gonna come out of this looking good you know so it doesn't look good yeah in my opinion it, especially it, with the reply of like they got she got 20 million like any like bro i bet and i don't know this for sure but i'm gonna say that like almost all of the stars of the new marvel movies like simu lee um you know all the people including angelina jolie the whole cast of eternals i don't think any one of those people got 20 million i don't think any of them got 20 oh, no, million. They're, they're not scarlet johansson i don't know bro like scarlet's like, been in, in in the mcu since day one she's been in there for a long long time and she's paid her dues and honestly she's incredible in a lot of those movies like we were watching uh civil war the other yeah. night she's great in that movie but my thing is these other people are about to carry entire franchises you know what i mean she they True. they i think they they really threw her a bone by still allowing her to even walk away with that kind of cash on a swan song that to me was honestly like one of the weaker installments of the entire mcu you know so it's like I don't know. I, I just didn't feel like she had much ground to uh, be upset there. I don't know. I haven't really read too much into it, but if I was given twenty million, I would really wouldn't be uh, all that mad. No, I wouldn't be that. And she apparently got more too. So yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, she'll be able to go to Disney and experience that Star Wars stuff. She'll be sure. fine. Yeah, she'll be okay. She'll be okay. Would it be the same if if Tony? downey jr did it did that hmm. so okay so first of all i think i think robert had the he had the he actually had a misfortune flip 100 percent on him where it was so risky when he first came back because he was just getting out of rehab and then he did that uh that movie kiss kiss bang bang and if you guys don't know the story behind that and i know a lot of people don't like mel gibson but if you've ever seen Robert Downey Jr. talk about Mel Gibson and stand up for Mel Gibson. The reason is because when nobody would give Robert Downey a chance and nobody, I mean, nobody in Hollywood was going to give this guy a shot. This dude literally took a role that was designed for him, stepped down and told the people to make Robert Downey do that. That's kiss, kiss, bang, bang. It revitalizes his career and it gets him the Iron Man gig. Mm -hmm. Right. But at the time, Robert was so risky, they barely paid him anything. I think he made like less than 100 grand. But the deal was he got all these back end points. Iron Man blows up and unfortunate for Disney. And at the time, it was just Marvel Studios. When they wanted to get him for the next Iron Man, they had to pay him an absurd amount of money because he was so risky, they didn't lock him in. So he was able to kind of take a bad oh, luck wow. thing and like flip it into one of the most amazing deals that you could ever get. By the way, Robert Downey Jr., towards the end of his tenure at Marvel, had also lobbied not just for his pay to get increased, but to get all of the Avengers paid hella money. And so Robert did a lot to sort of parlay, even for probably Scarlett's friggin' big old paycheck that she got uh, by the end of it. So I don't know. I just think it's a different situation with with robert and with uh with disney or with uh scarlet mm -hmm. different. again i just don't understand why she uh there's gotta be something else going on i think <clears throat> i don't know uh back to star wars sue any other piece Eesh. of news that we got going on honestly man it's uh not really i mean it's been kind of light the only thing was there was one of the actors for uh obi-wan sort of posted something to make it seem as though obi-wan is done filming which is good okay. um but that's not really news and we kind of expected it to wrap up with, with with really without a hitch at this point so yeah other than that there was a casting of this kid in the Cassian Andor series, I have no idea who this kid is. Some people think he's cool. He's from uh, some Netflix show. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know who this guy is at all. But people are talking who? about it. The uh, Alex Lothar. Alex yeah. Lothar. He's from this show called The End of the Effing World, uh, on Netflix. I believe it's on Netflix. 
So okay. he's, a young, he's a young kid, so I don't, I don't know much about it. Some people like that show, so they were talking about it. And that is pretty much it, my friend. Um, slower Newsweek. That's pretty much it, hey? Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, we're at an hour. Um, I don't know what your schedule is. I'm going to answer some some soups that I missed. Yeah, so I'm going to go hang. through them. Okay. Yeah, I'll hang. Starting off at number one, at the very beginning, we got Anakin Skywalker with two bucks. He says, hey, mates, what do you think about Mike Zero? Seems fine. Seems nice. Seems fine. I don't yeah. really watch his uh, content, but... Yeah, man. He's he's just another simple man <laughs> making his way in, his, in the universe. So, don't. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what do you guys think about the Bad Batch finale has in store for us? Uh, we went over that. Uh, hey, Theory and Josh, quickly want to ask a question before we go to sleep. Leia has always had a dark side to her. What if Leia turned to the dark side after episode six, and how would you see that happening? I made a fan fiction on that just recently. Um, I think Leia... Actually, I also covered another video about that because Carrie Fisher said that there's more anger to Leia's character than uh, the other ones. Hmm. I would love a few seasons of animated shows about Obi-Wan and Anakin within the 10 years between episode one and two, like maybe a young Seer and Annie or Dooku as Jedi. Yeah. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see anything they can do to fill in the gaps between the prequels. Um, but then again, they're doing that with the originals. They're filling in the gap between five and six, and it's just pissing me off because they're just making Vader go to Exegol and like do all of this crap. And I'm just like, stop. Just... Just stop, dude. Like, this is not... George didn't have this plan. Like, right. don't go in there back in time and try to fill in the gaps of, like, this is what was happening during this time. It's like, no, it wasn't. This wasn't happening. So stay congruent with what George had in mind or don't make these stories. Try to fit your new sequels. It right. just doesn't feel right. I agree. You're telling me that, that he knew about this fleet the whole time and then when that moment in front of the Jedi when he takes the helmet off and he's dying. He's not going to tell his son about it. And then the time when he's a ghost, all those years, 30 years before the Force Awakens happened, he never tells Luke. Yoda never tells Luke. Obi-Wan never tells Luke that, hey, there's a freaking Sith fleet yeah, on Exegol. Come on. And the Emperor's still alive. And the Emperor's still alive, by the way. Like, that would have been real helpful. <laughs> get get <laughs> out of here, dude. Yeah, for get sure. Get out of here. I don't like that. Yeah. Went to the Galaxy's Edge for the first time. I've never been so disappointed. I couldn't I couldn't get to do the Rise of Resistance. You need a stupid reservation to ride it. Same goes with the Cantina. Disney sucks. Oh, yeah, the Cantina takes forever to get into. Well, that's the other side of it, too, is, like, I don't even think Disney's known for, like, nailing these experiences when they first come out. Like, they're sloppy. They're not always on point right away. So it's just so crazy to me. That, that, that they're going to charge that like out the gate for an experience that we know very little about. Yeah, you know what they should have done before they announced the prices? They should have had a few bloggers or vloggers Agreed. go in there. Agreed. Or just had some like stage people like take some videos or I don't know, whatever. Just show us something. <laughs> Not just some trailer. I agree. Um, and then be like, pay an arm and leg and you get to stay two nights. No, thanks. I'd rather just go to Hawaii. Like For Disney sure. overpricing their cheap lightsabers as Jack. What would you say to Anakin if you had a minute in a minute if his time Ah, uh, nothing. I'd stay out of his way. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Probably a smart move. Yeah. You tell him you see Anakin Skywalker walking with his hood up and like Go on the other like side of the hallway. first clone yeah, trooper yeah, marching yeah. behind him. <laughs> hey, uh, I implore you to reconsider. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Jinx, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Yummy cup. This is outrageous. It's unfair. Wado is behind this. Obviously. Um, you have to pay to dress for the ball and follow their itinerary. You have to pay right? to dress for the ball and follow their itinerary? What the flip? You better get control of that full ship and be able to take it on a freaking joy ride throughout the galaxy for five grand. You're essentially just in a warehouse. You're just in a virtual reality warehouse. That sucks. It's probably cool, but whatever. 
The rent is too dang high. Disney. Max says, I already reserved a spot for my family. Okay, well, Max, I hope you upload some content on yeah, your YouTube please, channel. Yeah, please please let us know. It. Yeah, we got to know, man. We got to know. And to be honest and tell us if it's not worth it. And if you really regret it, don't be afraid to cry about it on camera. Ever heard or watched? What? No. I'm afraid to say things now because I feel like it's just going to be like the... You guys are just going to say something I'm going to get, get, get you trolled or something. Yeah. Um, no, no, not the... the just, like some troll comment or something like what's Candace? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like yeah, there was yeah. another one that I fell for the other day and it was uh I don't know, I, I forgot, but Yeah. You yeah, gotta be careful out there on these internet. Young. Yeah. Do you like Galaxy's Edge? Um, no, not really, to be honest. Honestly, it's okay. That's the it's thing. Okay. It yeah. is okay. Like it is definitely not what you imagine, in my opinion. It's not what I you get imagine. Bored. I get real bored. Uh, bro, it's a literal circle. It's a literal it's a circle, circle and, and half of its shops. Half of its shops. It's all sequel trilogy. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, dude, I grew up with the freaking prequels and the originals. How are you going to have Star Wars Land and not have anything to do with the most fundamental core of Star Wars? And you're just going to push your own thing. True. It, it actually bugs me. Yeah. It's weird. Like how narrow-minded can you be? Well, the rumor is they're going to change it to a less sequel, more Mando, which would be good, I think. Lucas World. That's all I got to say. Lucas World. Everyone Google Lucas World right now. Would have been sick. Um, do you think Boba will find out Omega is an unaltered clone? If so, how do you think Boba will react? I don't think Boba will care. It would there's be interesting rumor, if he did. I don't know why he would. There's a rumor starting that Aiden Versio and the birth of Inferno Squad will be in season two to hunt down the Bad Batch. Really? And honestly, I think Inferno Squad's just lame. Yeah. Wasn't that cool? Could have been way cooler. Yeah. They didn't do it for me. <laughs> you tell me they're going to hunt down Bad Batch? Okay. They're going to die. They're going to get killed. My B-Day is next week. Uh, you're my favorite YouTuber, and I'm hyped to get my purple hat. Oh, happy birthday, Lego Rhapsody. Oh, by the way, thank you to everybody who purchased a purple hat. You guys killed it, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. I was hoping we would get Jedi Fallen Order and two sequels, the Sith Fallen Order and two more sequels. Sith Fallen Order. That'd be cool. That'd be sweet. Um, what's your take on multiple Star Wars shows ending with a big movie release that all... Okay, to Avengers style, yeah. Yeah. Theory, love the new kicks. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, dude, I got to show you these new shoes. That I, I'm wearing them right now because I just think they're so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just got them in the mail. That's sick, dude. Check it out. Whoa, Nerf? <laughs> dude, yeah, right? That's awesome. Isn't that yeah. wild? That is wild, bro. It's like some '95 yeah. retro. Yeah, logo. dude. Yeah, that's cool. And then, and the other one is uh, like a different color too. Show you this. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. That's, that's pretty, pretty sick, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty so stylish. Bro. Reebok kamikazes. You know, people, be able to, people be able to pick you out of a uh, crowd with those for sure. I don't know if I'll ever wear them out. I'll just wear them like at home in the gym. Uh, you got to wear them at a like, star celebration on like Saturday for the big day. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool. Be fun. Um, Fallen Order is one of the most interesting, unique Star Wars stories for a while, in my opinion. Just wanted to give my take on an old discussion. I wasn't able to catch live Windu. Oh, right. We beat that one. Oh, by the way, chat, I got a, um, a gift from Herschel again. So I haven't unboxed it yet because I wanted to do an unboxing. Do you guys want me to do one? Do you care about that stuff? I know you guys like unboxings, and but some people don't care. So I just let me know. I know. Um, the recalling 95 retro makes me feel like an actual grandpa. <laughs> Maybe you are an actual grandpa. Maybe you're thinking of that, Mr. Grandpa Maybe. guy. Maybe. Jeez. Those are so ugly. Those are a thing of art. Okay. They're a thing of beauty, a thing of time. This looks like something out of Fresh Pen Prince. Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. Space Jam style. Amen. Did an unboxing on my game and on my gaming channel. Nice. Do you want to see Mace Wind return in the Obi Wan show? No. I think it'd be weird. I'd love it. No, because then what would they do? How would they kill him? They shouldn't Boba. kill him. Boba will take him out. 
Yeah, but then that makes my fan film suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't affect it at all, Brad. Don't think about it. Nah, yeah, it won't affect it at all. Um, quick comment on <coughs> an IG post about Leia. She was a role model because of her fierce attitude in doing what she believed was right. I would be surprised if most fo folks failed to see the same. Great to catch you two today. I agree. Yeah. Thanks, Jennifer. Yeah, I posted a couple things on my um, Instagram from the Paul Duncan books. Nice. And uh, yeah, so there was a cool excerpt from uh, George about Leia and wanting to make her a Jedi, which was pretty sweet. Hmm. That is pretty sweet. Check and then out. also another excerpt um, about him. I'll actually read it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's a cut in a paragraph here. So and know what is really going on in a more impressive way than just a little set with an explosion in the background. And no Darth Vader. We have to introduce Darth Vader. And this is by mind you, this is about George financing his own movies because companies would come in there and they'd make him cut stuff out. We have to introduce Darth Vader. That's the whole point. There's more to this than just spending money. It's called telling a story and making it work. And the rest is on my Instagram. You can see it, but. Seems like that's something that's missed today, you know? Yeah. People only yeah. care about the moolahs. Too formulaic, too. Which is great. Everybody wants to make more money because, unfortunately, that's the way the world works. But it's not everything. No. You got to have a fundamental relationship with the people that enjoy your content. It's a it's a relationship. It's not. It can't be one-sided. <laughs> well, and funny enough, if you're able to actually tell the story properly, you'll be making more money. True. They just don't get that. Yeah. Um, what if the world between world creates another timeline that has the events from Legends, so it would canonize Legends without actually canonizing? I don't like the world between worlds. It's Bugs it's me. fine for what it is. I mean, I I don't really want to see it utilized in, you know, canon moving forward. I think it's just a fun thing to have existing there but it's almost like that power that's just out of their grasp like palpatine really wanted it i get it but like nobody can ever really possess that power in star wars or it would ruin right. everything right i agree josh knows this but shout out to all the jammed blast doors on star cruisers out there you don't get enough love for consistently saving the day <laughs> yeah somebody, i remember somebody just brought that up in one of our streams it is kind it's of an interesting point if given a job at Lucasfilm, what would you what do you two think he would be best fit for? Director, or story writer? Uh, I'd be best fit for appointing who is in charge of telling what story. Yeah, I'd say definitely writer over director for me. Um, I could because like especially too with writing and with film writing, you kind of create the bones of something and then pass it off to other creative geniuses that are supposed to take it to the next level. So. You know, there's people that are really good at that, and I think I'm an ideas guy, and let someone else kind of take it and refine it. You know, hmm. I would if let's say let's say it was in my name, I owned Lucasfilm. Yeah, um, I would just give it to Dave Filoni and John Favreau and say, hey, you guys got to, you just handle everything. You do, we make whatever show you want. You tell whatever story you want. I'm gonna go on vacation. See you guys later. That's it. Hopefully, that's what KK did. She was like, here you go, John and Dave. I'm Audi. Yeah, hopefully. it would be nice. Yeah. Uh, seen debates on TT. So who would win, Plo or Ahsoka? What's TT? TikTok, probably. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Ahsoka. I don't know. Yeah, Ahsoka for sure. I got to think about it. Ever watch or heard of Linkara? If not, he is this guy who reviews comic books. He also reviews some Star Wars comics. Nope. No, nope, never heard of him. Maybe check him out. Race Guy Warka in it. Uh, I know you probably want to do your own, do on your own, but let me know if you want some money to help make it easier placing a larger order. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, no, I, I got it. I want to own all of the, uh, me and Mark are splitting everything. So um, the more people we bring in there, just the more muddy it gets. Yeah, hundred percent. You got to pay these people, and they got to say and stuff. And no, this is something I wanted to do. I brought Mark on because he's my boy, and he brings actual major value. And yeah. um, we just split it down the middle. And sure. yep. And um, yeah, that's it. So, 
Makes sense. And then Josh and I will be doing stuff with it later on once it's actually established. Heck yeah. I had a good phone call with that Mark myself today. Mark's Mark's good people, man. Mark's a genius. Yeah, he is. October 15th is now marked in my calendar for it. Great. Boba Fett being the last bad batch. Maybe. I'll be at the charity stream. Good. Thank you. Off topic, have either of you watched Suicide Squad? I loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun, but uh, not. Uh, I wasn't as taken by it as a lot of people. But I thought it was fun. No. Maybe I'll watch it tonight if I have time. More theory and Josh scene reading for charity stream. Ooh, that's a great idea. Have people submit different scenes that we could do on the charity stream. Would be cool if Pablo came on and dropped half a milli at the end of... Uh, <laughs> like this the dude doesn't have half a milli, dude. What are you talking about? Like, no offense, but me and Theory probably both make more money than Pablo. No offense, Pablo. Like, no offense. It's not probably right, but... Why isn't it right? Uh, True. I think he has more money than both of us put together. Pablo Hidalgo's net worth drops $8 million, making him feel a... What? There is no way that dude is worth $8 million. No way. Readers of this blog are aware of communist ignoramus Pablo Hidalgo's... What? What? He's expressed his fondness for guillotines on... What the... What? What is this, dude? Uh, I don't know. It sounds kind of serious, though. Do we just stumble onto some weird conspiracy? Some maybe, just someone, conspiracy? maybe it's someone else. There's probably a lot of Pablo Hidalgo's. Uh, okay. Pablo Hidalgo, born October 12th. It's a Chilean, Canadian. He's Canadian. He's Canadian, dude. See, you guys have a lot in common. Creative executive and author currently working for Lucasfilm within the Lucasfilm Story Group. Uh, no, he lives in America. Hmm. He's Brother 46. No Wait, that dude's worth eight. What the hell? Dollars. Right under that, it's uh what happened with Pablo Hidalgo and Star Wars Theory. Oh snap. Oh how much is Star Wars Theory worth right there? What does it say? I'm worth it says I'm worth four point one seven million dollars. Dang, bro. Look at you go. I wish. Dude, that's what That'd I'm saying. Those, th those things are maybe so my off. channel is worth that. Yeah, like I, I mean, sold it. At, as an asset and like over, yeah, like, so like, it's funny because I was just watching or uh, Paul from Heavy Spoilers just was talking about this on Twitter because his said it was worth like 1.4 million or something. I don't know how these people come up with these numbers, but like, I don't know. That's cool. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of dough. I mean, look, I feel good about my income, but it ain't that. Holy crap. Like, that would be ridiculous. And to be worth $8 million, you'd have to have, like, some serious assets. Well, he's an author. He has a lot of books. I mean, I guess royalties over those books over time. Absolutely. Is he, is he a publisher? <laughs> if he has a publishing company, then maybe. I don't know. Years active, 1995 to present. So he's been, he's been active since I was five years old. So he's obviously doing something, right? Yeah. True. More power to him. You know? ScarJo's going to get that money, though. She's the one making the, the real money around here. 20 mil, and she's still going for more. 20 mil, and she's still mad. Yeah, man. She's like, especially when she finds out Pablo's worth eight, she's going to lose her shit. She's <laughs> going all in. That's crazy. I wonder how they get that. 4.17 million. Where the hell do they get that from? It's definitely I have not no what's in the idea. bank account. Yeah, I have no idea what who these people are, what they do with that. This is so funny. How much does Star Wars Explained make? What the hell? Star Wars Explained. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Um who runs Star Wars Theory on YouTube? <laughs> Neatus. Yes. Tis do me. they do they is this like a Wikipedia or something? I, I don't know. Like I no, I just typed in Pablo Hidalgo net worth, and there's just all of these like random questions, and you click and they just open up. It's wild. Yeah, it's funny. How much did Disney pay for Star Wars? Did Pablo Hidalgo work on Rebels? Who was responsible for Star Wars? Where's Star Wars theory from? What the hell? How do I get Vader shards? How do you get Vader shards? 
I don't know. I don't know, theory. This is so weird. I don't I don't like Googling myself. I mean I'm not even Googling myself. Just <laughs> right. What the hell is this? Newsweek.com YouTube channel Star Wars Theory makes videos discussing, directing, and analyzing every facet of the sci-fi franchise. Whoa, dude, every facet. He's been posting on his channel since 2016. The first post was a theory about what if Emperor Palpatine is actually Snoke. Weird. It's just funny what people write about you. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. Yeah. What's PewDiePie worth? A lot. A lot, my friend. Who's the richest YouTuber? Jeffree Star. Net worth of two hundred uh, million dollars. Well, maybe he's the richest YouTuber from YouTubing, but there are technically billionaires that YouTube, like Mister Wonderful, has a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and that dude, that dude is yeah, of course, Shark Tank. Um, his net worth is five times larger than second richest YouTuber PewDiePie, who has a net worth of forty million. <laughs> God, it's a lot of a lot of Minecraft videos for Logan Paul. Logan Paul is probably doing really well. I don't think I don't know if he's. Million. I bet it's more than that. Yeah, I don't know. Podcasting is has been a nice. He just made twenty million from that fight. So true. True, true, true. But then there's like all those like crypto dudes, right? That do YouTube and like some of those dudes have so much money, like. Yeah. Like they'll have twenty million dollars in a single coin. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's all it's all relative, you know. It's always it's like Qui Gon says. There's always a bigger fish. Of course, absolutely, man. If I if I can have a career being full time doing what I love, I'm that's, happy. Dude. That's what it's about, really. It's and like I have that. So yeah, exactly. And once you hit a certain level, like sure, you want more. To me, it's like I want to refine my brand, and I want to, I want, I want the feeling that like I've gotten so in touch with my audience and so like in touch with what good YouTube is that like I've grown like that. You know, that's really what I'm more concerned with because like, you're right. Like the ability to do this full time is such a blessing. And it honestly, I bet a lot of people would take like half of what they make. They would accept half of what they make at their real job to like have a job like we have and not have to like have a boss and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I've had every job in the book. Oh yeah. Dude. Restaurant work is tough, bro. Like done, I did, done, I did my time in the restaurant industry, you know? So yeah, very happy to be on the outside of that. You know, there, you know, looking back, there's a reason that uh, I guess I wasn't very popular growing up because it just forced me to cave in more on uh, on Star Wars when I was a kid. Yeah, that's fair. Kind of just, created that love for you and that that. Yeah, uh, other you know, space. Problem, I, I wonder if I had the distraction of like going to parties every weekend in high school, or um, I don't know, like being popular in elementary school and like having girls running after me and stuff i probably would i don't know yeah i don't know if i would yeah for me it was uh i still my, love it but i don't my, know if i would mine was my uh my injury right so like i was uh very athletic i was actually not gonna do youtube i wasn't even gonna go to college actually at the time believe it or not i was training to be a fighter and that's when i blew out my what? leg super super bad yeah so my dad's a martial artist i've sort of always grown up in martial arts and i was i was really good at fighting and i wanted to be a fighter like i, I thought it was the coolest thing dude i was like i'll beat people up and get paid right it right. um, was pretty cool it's it's an awesome idea especially if you really like fighting like if you've grown up with it but then when i blew my knee out like that i couldn't do like anything bro like it, literally all athletic future for me vanish right in front of my eyes and so if i think about that all the time where i'm like if i hadn't have had that knee injury and I hadn't have been forced to like work on my mind and like because it was like when I lost my athletic dominance, I had to figure out like how to feel right again and how to feel like my mojo come back. Right. And so mm -hmm. I kind of dedicated myself into like philosophy and uh, like having a really sharp mind, you know, which right. has in turn paid off uh, probably way more than the fighting would have just being honest. You know what I mean? Like so. Yeah. It's it's a it's kind of an interesting thing that happens with life, you know. That's true. Um, 
Yo, met you at Star Wars uh, Celebration Chicago on my way out. I didn't know what to say. I told you, keep making fan films. You were so chill. We took a pic, highlight of my day. Thank you. Oh, cool, man. That's awesome. I think I remember you saying that. You were just like, you were super quick about it. And you're just like, keep making fan films. That's awesome. Yeah. Which was interesting because that's kind of all I want to do. I don't really, like, I want to move to making movies. Yep. And you could you could transition into that. I think you'll always tube though. Tubes and tubing's fun. It's a good way to I connect to an audience. Too. But you could always. you could pull back and then do more movie or even animation stuff in the future. You I never don't really think know. So, man, I, I think I don't know. I, I feel like I'll I'm gonna reach that. I want that ten mil sub mark. Yeah, I really want that. Yep. And I want and I see twenty for some reason. I just see that. I see twenty million subs. I mean, especially Next. if yeah. like I, I think it's totally possible because there's billions and billions of people just now entering like the sort of internet ecosystem in like India and certain other parts of the world. So it's like, it's totally possible. There's a lot of people coming into the whole of the internet um, in the next couple of years. So dude, a lot of growth still to be had for sure. Definitely. Yeah. It'll be good. First got to surpass the official star Wars channel. That's that's first on the list. That's and first then, on the list. Yeah. And then, uh, See where it goes. As long as people like what I'm putting out, great. Star Wars Obsession says, Theory, did you get a Luke and Grogu poster yet? If not, did you get on Discord? Get at me on Discord. I got you one. Also, got my purple <gasps> hat today. To Star Wars Obsession, I'm going to hit you up on Discord. Give it to me. Hit him up. I should hit him up. I want that poster. The poster's sick. Dude, the freaking company emailed me. What? Yeah, they emailed me a few days ago. That's awesome. They were like, hey, we saw your video, and uh, we just want to thank you. And we yeah. saw that you can't get one, so we want to send one out to you. And I was like, yes, please. I don't get any treatment like that, man. Like, I don't get – no, one, fun, no one reaches out to me. No one sends me stuff like that. That it, like, That's fun, That was man. cool, man. I think, That's like, really nice, yeah. Herschel is, I think, the only company that – has sent me something without the expectation of me doing a review. Mm. Mm. I think. Yeah. Anyways, my top three companies that I've worked with are Seagate, Lego, and Herschel. And those nice. are like my favorite. And Very Amazon cool. Audible. That's probably because I, I use that one. I like but Audible a lot, dude. That's an incredible service. Yeah, 100%. But dude, yeah, it was cool that they actually emailed me. I was like, I was like what the fuck? Sweet. They're not making any more? No, apparently not. Whew. It's a shame. I wonder if they um, had a limited thing on their license. Maybe. I don't know. I have two of the Red Order 66 hats and got two and got the new shirt with the Imperial interior lighting fixtures. I love it. You mean the Order Red hat and the lights shirt? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I just released a new design last night, actually. But I haven't announced it. I often release new designs and I just don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to be annoying with the merch. I think like once in a while, it's cool, but I don't want to be like, um, you know, one of those dudes. Yeah. Even though no one else is advertising for me, so I got to do it for myself. But true, true. It's weird being a YouTuber. You got to like constantly push your own crap. Oh man, it has a whole, like, and yeah, it's a, it's a lot. It's It's a whole crazy world that people don't realize about. Do you have merch? So I do actually. One of the things where we drop an exclusive merch piece for every new like Marvel thing or show. So we started with Loki and we had specific merch for Loki that we only had on our store while Loki was on. So like if people were like going to our watch parties or watching our videos and they like the shirts, maybe they get them or whatever and they're gone forever. And we have another one I'm working on for. The what if show and i think it's gonna be really sick actually it is a watch party thor so it's like thor with like popcorn and soda like ready to watch what if or whatever you mean um, a a a norse god yeah popcorn? that thor that thor not the marvel thor of course right you know, of yeah. course we, yeah. we, 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 we gotta leave so there's no tm thor. next to what you're creating <laughs> <laughs> heck no no it's the yeah. it's it's like a thor from the olden times not just Disney. making it yeah. just making it clear for anyone yeah we're gonna cancel josh so look for that on the store uh tomorrow or something in the next couple weeks be cool 
tomorrow or in the next couple of weeks? So we should have it up by tomorrow, but it'll be available throughout. There's, a, I think, what if it's going to be on the air for nine weeks? So we'll probably drop it at least that one, maybe another shirt or design for like stuff. Uh, probably. I think we want to have at least two designs per each show. So when Hawkeye comes out later this year, we'll have a couple of Hawkeye ones. I'm hoping they do pizza dog. That's like a thing from the comics. If they do pizza dog in the Hawkeye show, I'm going to do a pizza dog shirt. Cause that's awesome. Um, but just kind of fun nerdy things where it's like, if you, if you like this kind of stuff and you're hanging out on the den of nerds, watching our vids or our streams, we want to have a cool piece of merch. Uh, and, and also our channel members get 20% off merch. So if you're a channel member, you get 20% off of that stuff. And it's really just for them, man. You know, like we don't, we barely make any money off of those, especially when we get to 20%. Um, so it's really just for people to have a fun, you know, piece of memorabilia for, you know? <clears throat> yeah. What are you with spring? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't really give much of a cut, do they? No, nah, it's pretty slim. You got to move some numbers. I yeah, mean, we do okay. You know, we don't do terrible or whatever, but like, it's really more for the community, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But I guess that's, you know, the price we pay for um, having the convenience of someone else filling out the orders. Absolutely. Yep. If you want to do, and I do want to do some, some more premium merch with like, there's a, there's a guy in uh, St. Louis, I believe that uh, I'm working with and we want to do like exclusive jackets or something like that. Those would be premium. And right. they would be really, really nice. Because the only thing with right. spring is like the, the quality is not always there, right? I think their hats are great. I think the sweatshirts are great. Their hats are great. The, the, are a little... the AS design. Have you seen that one? I think is that the new John? The that's new the new yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah, that that, really that stuff's nice. good. But some people just they want to try that other like just normal cotton stuff. And you know, I'm not gonna tell people not to do it, but it's not the best quality, you know. Um why do you hate Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers? Jeremy is a toxic white male. Yeah, man. He's so male and white. He's it's so crazy. Toxic. No, what the hell are you talking about, dude? Jeremy's my boy. <laughs> don't go spreading bullshit. Don't go spreading rumors. Yeah, go That's going to come bullshit. back and eat your balls. butt. Video. What? What? That's not what I want to say. Balls? That's not what I want to say at all. <laughs> that's getting clipped out. <clears throat> yep. Well, <laughs> um, Josh, get at me. I'll send you one if Theory does not want it. Banging the homies says Star Wars Obsession. Dope. I'll hit you up, bro. I hit will up, hit man. you up. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. But yeah, I mean, if the if the if that company comes through and sends me one, I mean, I won't need one. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. You think we'll see Vader's Revenge of the Sith lights at yes? Kenobi, yes. Excited to see what if Josh got my what if Funko collector core box today. Ooh, nice. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm that's actually one of the parts that I'm most excited about. What if for is the merch and stuff, just because like Else Worlds to me are so fun. Like T'Challa as Star Lord, what an awesome idea. Can't wait. Uh, the dark Doctor Strange, dude. The darker version of Doctor Strange is like my avatar, like bloodshot eyes and all. Like that dude seems he's it's it's me. Like it's that's my spirit animal is Dark Side Doctor Strange from the What If Show. So there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff to uh, to check out from that. Hey, theory, are you getting that Luke Skywalker sideshow collectibles? Um, that's probably not. Sick. It does look sick, but it's a hot toy. I don't really want it. Yeah, hot toys are. Pricey. I want an actual statue. No, I want an actual like, like a, like a big one. Yeah, yeah. I want a hot toy. I mean, I have an Anakin hot toy, and it's super cool. But nah, for for five hundred bucks Canadian, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I feel you on that. I like those uh, those Japanese inspired ones a bit more, anyways. And those are usually like a hundred, hundred and twenty per mm -hmm. item, you know. And uh, they just look so clean on a shelf. Very cool. Yeah. Very striking. You know. Yeah. True. I have many ideas for some Star Wars movies. I would like to share them another time, maybe. Oh, in live chats, you can. Go ahead and see what the community says. Uh, go ahead and share them on StarWarsTheory.com on the forums. Yeah, for That's sure. That's why it's there. Indeed. When am I watching Avatar? When I have some time. Um, yeah. When I give it some time, I guess. Uh, sure. Uh, 
JJ isn't a bad director. Okay. Happy you think so. But is he a good one? I don't know. It's subjective. Ooh. The best movie he ever did was uh, Mission Impossible 3. It's totally subjective. I mean, people don't like the sequels. People love the sequels. Every movie is subjective. It depends. Except that on you. my subjective opinion is low. <laughs> yeah. Every p opinion is welcome as long as it's mine. Right. For sure. Um, what do I think of an old Republic movie where the main Star Wars villain is a Sith villain and it never says anything because he, she is so psychotic. The whole movie is finally meeting the protagonist, Jedi Master, and only screams Jedi. Uh, doesn't sound very good. Kind of sounds like Broly. Yeah, for sure. I mean, all he does is <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. The newer one's a little bit different, but yeah, that old one, man, where he was just doing that over and over again. Yeah, constantly. <laughs> I think that one of my favorite parts of that was. Uh... <laughs> yeah. I would say probably when he just like destroys everyone. <laughs> no man, it was sick, dude. It was sick. His his eyes turn white. He's like people's completely just his eyes are gone. Oh, he was just decimating him. I, I liked uh yeah, there's a lot that I like about that first movie. Like I love how Paragus and all the Saiyans roll up and then like they're stroking Vegeta's ego, like saying that he should be king and all that. Like yeah, yeah. I always thought that was such a cool like I feel, I wish they would have done more of that in Dragon Ball, like Vegeta actually stepping up as a king or whatever, and you know. Or like an emperor or something. I'm so tired of it, man. They just make Vegeta look like such a chump every time. He's always he like they'll give him like an inch, and then Kakarot just goes like 50 million feet ahead. Yeah, I mean, like, right now he's technically ahead of Kakarot a little bit, and if he don't demolishes, split. Don't, split. don't split. I'm on episode 70 some. No, 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 no. I mean, in the manga, in the manga, yeah. Like in the most current stuff, like it's it's pretty wild what ends up happening. It almost seems like it almost seems like they're setting Vegeta up to be a god of destruction. It's pretty wild. Wake me up in 200 years when there's a Westworld level of Star Wars experience. Hmm. That would now that would be worth five thousand per night, honestly, something like that. What's Westworld? It's like super realistic robots. Like you would literally go into a world full of like, for all intents and purposes, other beings, uh, but they all you could do whatever you want to them. You know what I mean? Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't really have much else to add. If, if you know, an hour forty on yeah. this show, it's pretty good. I feel like I missed some super chats, so I'll probably go over them on my gaming channel at another time. If you guys are down, so go subscribe to Theories Arcade and Fantasy Theory, please. And of course, Josh's channel at the Den of Nerds and the Den of Nerds Live. Go do it right now. There's two thousand of you here. Go do it. Go do hit it. Hit that like button. Come on. And, and smash the like. What are you guys doing? Come on. That's ridiculous. Crazy Ridiculous. people out there doing crazy things. I guess I was wrong. There was no danger at all. <laughs> nice. Not even relevant. Just, just I think it's perfect. Every relevant. time you mention your saber company, I get excited. Definitely want to buy one when available. Time frame for it. I love you guys, dude. I appreciate you wanted support. Um, time frame. We should have had these launched in June. Whew. So we're just, you know, yeah. That's how special we're trying to make them. I mean, our design is a little bit crazy, and I guess we're limited to maybe the manufacturer. We're limited to the amount of money we have. Um, it's a startup, you know. Yep. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, but um, it'll be good once it once it's out. Yeah, I'll for let sure. You guys know about everything. Um, save the date for October fifteenth. I'll talk more about it as well for the charity for kids for St. Jude's and. Hit like on this vid, and we'll catch you later. Subscribe to all our channels. We'll see you in a little bit. We'll see you next week. We love you guys. See you guys. Peace. Later. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have to do it. There we go.